All right, guys. What's up? Welcome to my Magic Find build. We are playing Tornado Shot Raider Magic Find. We're playing Raider, which is a little unconventional, instead of uh, the natural Deadeye. Okay, so we're going to play this Magic Find build. I'm going to showcase it real quick, and then we're going to go over everything that you need to know for the build, and the skills, the loot, the gear, all that good stuff, and how to kind of... Um, map this out and just showcase this build it's going to be really really great all right take the shot this is magic fine baby Oh my god, I was right on top of him. He's dead now. About to make me a ranger. Let's go, Josh. Get one. Oh my god, I just deleted her, bro. I just deleted her. We killed another Slytherin. Oh my god, look at the snakes. Leave me alone. How long are they going to follow me? Alright. Nice. Alright, let's gather up all the loot. This is Tornado Shot Raider Magic Find, okay? We're rocking an elemental bow. We're going to be doing um, kind of like a traditional uh, tornado shot. We're doing tornado shot with Mirage Archer, Chain Support, Trinity, um, Divergent Inspiration, as well as Awaken Elemental because we are an elemental bow. Uh, then we're doing Purity of Elements with Enlightened Anger for some more damage and Petrify Blood to help protect my life, which is what you can't see underneath my beautiful camera. Then we're rocking, of course, two um, Venter's Gambles along with a Graceful Assault Amulet, which is really strong. We have an Elemental Bow, which is going to be having additional um, arrows being fired as well as getting that in your bow. is very important. If you can get more arrows, it's really, really good because then you won't have to run um, the Greater Multi. You won't have to run that. Um, if you do happen to not have as many arrows being fired from your bow and quiver, then I could suggest maybe swapping one of these things out like Chain Support. And swap that out for greater multi, which is just fine. But if you have enough arrows like you see and I have in the display or the um, the presentation, that you can just swap out chain support for greater multi. Totally up to you. Uh, then we're rocking uh, Hair's Zodiac here for more suppress. We're 100% spell suppression here in this build. And we're going to be rocking Frenzy with power on charge on crit support. Uh, Mana Forged Arrows, Ensnaring Arrow, Inspiration Support, as well as Culling Strike. Uh, ensnaring arrow is really the MVP here is because it allows us to ensnare monsters and really slow them down so we're able to move and not um, really take as much damage you want to kill everything off screen or be at a really good distance away from them we are a bow build and with typical magic find builds we are a little bit squishy um, next we're doing Bisco's leash for even more uh, item quants and uh, increased rarity per rampage then we got gold worm knucklebuck boots uh, for even more quant and then we're doing Kyum's spirit this pairs really really well with our petrified blood for life recovery as well as rage um so that's kind of the gear guys our po pots are going to be the large um divination distilled for even more item quantity and rarity then we got dying a ruby flask which is going to give us two more arrows um, projectiles during the effect and then we have some more stuff here for uh, item rarity as well as increased critical strike chance and then increased move speed and move speed and then crit strike and crit strike so the build is pretty standard when it comes to um, item find this is a very very strong build this it does cost a decent amount of div um, especially if you're going to add on cursed enemies with elemental weakness but overall getting a lot of these items is pretty cheap if you can craft them the belt and boots are pretty cheap. Getting the rings are pretty cheap. Um, you can get a nice pair of um, Kyum Spirit gloves, which are pretty cheap. But if you're going to get the cursed enemies, like I said, that's going to cost significantly more. Um, the helmet was actually really cheap to put together. So you're looking at maybe a few div. The bow and your quiver are going to be the most expensive things here with all of the elemental additions to this. So 
that's probably where you're going to spend a lot of your div um, or currency on this build. Now, let's go take a look at the skill tree. I'm just going to briefly go over this again. The, the pop is going to be down in the description below. So again, guys, we are Raider. The reason that we are Raiders is because I wanted to kind of do something different. I wanted to be a little bit more tanky instead of just being glass cannon. So we are doing Avatar of the Chase with Rapid Assault for more Onslaught, as well as uh, Way of the Poacher for more Frenzy and Avatar of Slaughter for more Frenzy. So this is a very, very typical Raider start here, um, which I really like. So let's get to kind of go over the brief things and the most important parts about this build and the gems. So we're going to have a lot of stuff that gives us additional arrows like this tattoo here. Make sure to go get one of these tattoos so you can fire an additional projectile. So our gems are going to be um, Thread of Hope, which is what allows us to just kind of pick and choose some of these items. The main ones, the skills here is the multi-shot for even more projectiles. Um, then what I really like, so big shout out to the creator who did this, is Impossible Escape, which shoots us over here for Conduit, which allows us to pick up these extra nodes for more crit strike, more max life, as well as increased accuracy, because that is an issue on the build. So we need to have as much accuracy as possible, which you can also pick up here with um, these nodes. Um, the next big thing is, is grabbing our Headhunter inspired jewel so inspired learning this is going to give us a mini headhunter so while we have affordable nodes which is these four here that's what's going to give us um headhunter for 20 seconds as opposed to the 60 seconds that would be a next huge upgrade that we would swap our belt out for would be headhunter if we ever got that for magic find but this gem definitely works in the meantime our next big gems are we're going to be grabbing medium cluster jewels we want pressure point and quick getaway this is going to give us some more crit chance and more attack speed and move speed then we have another one for Streamline and Repeater. This is going to give us more projectile damage and speed, as well as attack speed and projectile damage. Huge. Our last few gems are Watcher's Eyes Prismatic. We have increased crit strike multiplier while affected by anger. So that's an aura we always have up. And then I really like the addition that we have here, which is unaffected by elements weakness while affected by purity of elements. So purity of elements is what's going to give us our immunities over here. But while we're affected by purity of elements, we cannot suffer elements of weakness, so we don't get the negative there uh, on our maps. So our next one is going to be another, just a normal Crimson Jewel, but the biggest thing here is Corrupted Blood cannot be inflicted on us. Very important. The damage over time stuff really hurts us. So this gets rid of uh, part of Corrupted Blood, and then our Steel Skin is what's going to allow us to get rid of bleeding, which is very important. Okay? Um... Those are the big jewels that we have on the build. The other skills that I did miss, guys, is we're doing Flame Dash for movement with Enhance. We're doing Omnilus Steel Skin for our only defense skill. We have Berserk up here, which is why you see it two times. This is kind of like our ultimate. Because we are building up Rage, which we get from our gloves, um, it's very easy. Our life regen is a couple hundred easily, if not more. So we're building up our Rage, and this is just an ultimate to give us even more attack damage, move speed, and attack speed very important on the build then we're doing precision for more auras haste we have this not for haste we have it for val haste so as we're killing enemies and we build up enough souls we can pop this for a nice little buff for four seconds which is going to give us again even more attack speed damage etc um, the last things here guys is that we're doing yeah we went over that that's good frenzy we got you yep so that, those are the last additions to the build guys um we take a lot of nodes here like leech mastery for even more leech and life mastery having a lot of life is important in this build um and then we are pretty much it we are very very good on evasion again we are 100 percent spell suppression in this build um or no we're at 89 percent. excuse me i must have missed a node to not have 100 percent, but i must be missing one for 100% spell. We have 100% spell, guys. I'm missing a node somewhere. But yes. The uh, pod will be down in the description below, guys. But that is my 3.22 Path of Exile Ranger Magic Find build, guys. I hope you did really enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like, comment on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.